Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 19th of 2020. Well, it is titled posters of the solar system. So what do we see here? Well, this is a set of posters that NASA provides of various regions, uh, primarily within the solar system that NASA has explored. So various spacecraft have explored these different objects over the last 50 years. And we have some detailed images of these. And we start off in the upper left with the sun, the only star in the solar system, and that which gives all of the heat and light that we need. And in fact, that that's what allows us to see all of the other objects. When we go out and look at things like the moon or the planets, in general, we are seeing reflected sunlight from them. Now we've also explored all of the inner planets, the four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars have all been explored by NASA uh, spacecraft. And of course, our moon as well, as you can see there with the Apollo, uh, one of the Apollo landings on the moon. Now we've also explored the outer worlds of the solar system and there are far more there. There's only really uh, four main four planets in the inner solar system plus one large moon that is that are there to explore. In the outer solar system, we also have four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune uh, to explore. But we also have a large number of moons as well. And we see those here in the middle row, we see the four Galilean satellites of Jupiter, including Europa, which has a watery ocean down below. We see Io when you can see one of the volcanic plumes sticking up over at the edge there, and various different structures on Ganymede and Callisto as well. So these were the four moons discovered by Galileo back in the 1600s when he first turned his small telescope to the sky. We can see Saturn with its great rings and Enceladus and Titan, uh, two of its moons, Enceladus having uh, great geysers from water below, and Titan being the only moon with an atmosphere and having lakes of liquid methane on the surface. In the outer solar system, we've explored Uranus and Neptune with the Voyager 2 craft and Pluto explored just uh, just a few years ago with the New Horizons craft. And we've also studied Ceres, Pluto and Ceres being two of the dwarf planets in known in the solar system now. And we've also looked at various comets and asteroids and even objects beyond our solar system as pictured in the very last image. Now these are actually available for you from NASA and you can actually get a link to the downloads if you look for this where it says this NASA page uh, in the in the description down below and you can actually download those different sets you can do uh, trading car si card size you can actually have them for an 11 by 17 and these are available for you to download and use either on a computer or to be printed out and framed on a wall if you want to show your NASA spirit and you know also, uh, and honor a lot of the exploration that has gone on over the last 50 years. So that was our picture of the day for May the 19th of 2020. It was titled posters of the solar system. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planet lineup. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.